Let's look at the origin of first life. Okay, somehow we had to get planets and stars and all of that. But we also have to get somehow life into this whole thing. And there are only two possibilities. Either life somehow emerged from non-life through natural processes alone, or there was an intelligent cause involved. In his landmark book entitled Darwin's Black Box, Michael Behe writes, and I quote, no one at Harvard University, at the National Institutes of Health, at the National Academy of Sciences, and no Nobel Prize winner has ever proven or even been able to explain how life could come from no life through Darwinian processes. The famous evolutionist Richard Dawkins once said, there's enough genetic information in a single cell, an amoeba cell, to fill a thousand books of an encyclopedia. One amoeba cell. He's an atheist. What's the likelihood of, of just the right chemicals coming together at just the right time to create a single cell organism filled with enough information uh, of a thousand books of encyclopedia? What's the possibility of that happening? British astrophysicist Fred Hoyle, who is a, an unbeliever, once compared the likelihood of first life appearing on planet Earth through this random chemical reactions. He said it would be the equivalent of the possibility that a tornado sweeping through a junkyard might assemble a Boeing 747 from the materials in the junkyard. <laughs> 